You're here because you're working on a vehicle that failed emissions. Your baseline shows you that HC was high and CO is normal. You may find multiple problems when dealing with emission failures. This is very common. Use your baseline readings to measure HC reduction to verify all your repairs. When HC is high and CO is normal, there are a number of possible causes. Look in the throttle bore for carbon buildup. If carbon buildup is present, it indicates there is also carbon buildup on the back of the intake valves. This can cause a lean condition causing HC to be high. Your decarbonization process must include cleaning the entire engine of carbon. Idle failures. If your system is failing at idle, go to vacuum leak testing, ignition secondary testing, misfire scan data testing. You're going to have to also go to fuel pressure and volume testing, EGR testing, as well as fuel system scan data testing. I'm sorry the list is so long, but when this is done, you're going to go back to the menu and everything's going to be listed for you and all you have to do is go down the test to find your problem. When you have a cruise failure, the list is almost entirely the same except that vacuum leaks aren't going to be the cause. So the list is right there in front of you. Go down it and create your test. Once you're sure it is an ignition fuel or an EGR problem, check the engine basics. Go to engine running compression testing and go to valve timing test. After eliminating all other possibilities, go to catalytic converter test. One other possibility could be poor fuel quality. Go to fuel quality testing. 